Hi guys, this is Ravi from Astro, and today I'm bringing you yet another video regarding Astro. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can add up to five virtual monitors and use those monitors to create remote workplaces, uh, which you can allow your employees to remote into and use the system. So let's get started. First of all. Um, if you haven't already installed Astro, download and install Astro from our website. I've already installed Astro and it's configured already. And in my current system, I have two monitors. Uh, one is external monitor and this is internal uh, display of the laptop. So I'll be adding five more. So there will be seven monitors once uh, we are done. So before we start, and you have to go to this github repository and download the driver that we are going to use uh, head over to releases and download the latest release from their website i've already downloaded it and copied it to c drive idd sample driver folder so um, you have to make sure that it is inside c drive and not in anywhere else otherwise this will not work and additionally we have here uh, option.txt and this is the file that we are going to use to set how many monitors we are going to add uh, currently i have set it to five you can set it to any number between one and five <laughs> so let's leave it as five and after you have set the options.txt next will be install shirt.bat um, do keep in mind you may need to run this inside command prompt so open command prompt as run as administrator as an admin then we change directory to c drive and idt sample driver folder then install short dot pad and enter and you will see short manager succeed succeeded message here this means we are done then press any key close the prompt and then afterwards open device manager from device manager click on the computer name and then action add legacy hardware and click on next choose install the hardware that i manually select from the list and click on next then choose display adapters click on next now click on have disk and then browse to the folder IDT sample driver folder and choose the INF file. Then click on open and then click on OK. And then you will see here and make sure that it says this driver has an authentic code TM signature. If it has anything else, then it means it is not properly signed and it may be um, malware or, or from other third party providers. Um, once you have confirmed this is from authentic code signature, this as an authentic code signature then click on next and finally click on next again to install i've already installed it so though it <coughs> sorry i installed it before and uninstalled it and now i'm again reinstalling it so um that's about it um, click on finish now after you are done uh, let's open to this so let's open display manager again and you will now notice that we have not only two that we had up before and then three four five six seven there are five monitors added um, due to the driver that we installed and to confirm that these monitors are <coughs> from the drivers that we installed let's open device manager and in device manager you will see that we have here display adapters IDT sample driver device and in monitors you will see generic monitor Linux FSD this means um the virtual monitor and we have here five now let's close it you can change resolution as you need you can support up to 8k um, depending on your use cases you can set however high monitor resolution you want because keep in mind that the higher the resolution the more gpu power it will sorry, more gpu resource it will take um, okay let's close it okay now let's open astro control
uh, you may be wondering what is this and this is new ui for astro that will be released on next release um, stay stay tuned for the new release for now let me continue and you can see here we have five monitors that are added here earlier we only had two monitors and <clears throat> Let me assign them to corresponding workplaces. As with uh, uh, for, sorry, as with remote workplaces, we have to set up any desk for each and every workplaces. I've already done it. Let me show you the process. So first of all, open the run prompt and then cell startup. Copy an index to this folder and then run it once. After running it, you have to set the unattended password. Click on the hamburger icon, then click on set password. Now set the password that you want. I've already set the password, so I'm not going to set it again. And once you have set the password, you can close any desk. Do keep in mind not to install any desk in any of the workplaces. If you install it, then all of the workplaces will get the same address. Now you have to do this for each and every user account that you have created for remote workplaces. In my case, I have already created five workplaces, sorry, five user accounts and configured them. Now um, let's apply the changes and enable as click on enable as would you like to reboot? Click on yes. And the computer has restarted and all the workplaces have already started as well. So let me open Astra and show you. As you can see, it's already started. And as you can see, triple one, triple two, triple three, triple four, they are started already. And let me open any desk. And I already logged into the index of each two workplaces, so they are listed here. Let me open and show you. First, I started. Let me open the second. Third. Four places, remote places have started. So, as you saw earlier, all the workplaces have started and could be remotely accessed. And let me show you the utilization currently, it's in under pressure of the CPU. It just start to go for it, so yours may be different. Let me show you all the places that have started, and maybe you can see from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven user accounts are locked in currently. So this is possible due to the driver that we installed right here. And the name of the driver is MSID disabled driver. And you can also set up remote workplaces without having to use the mid address like I showed in my previous videos. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos about Astra.